Emily Carr's The House of All Sorts, Chapter 10, Money. From the moment Key and Rent exchanged hands, a subtle change took place in the attitude of renter towards owner. The tenant was obviously anxious to get you out once the flat was hers. She might have known, silly thing, that you wanted to be out before she began to rearrange things. Bump, bump, bump. It would never do to let a landlady think her taste and arrangement were yours. Particularly women with husbands made it their business to have the man exchange every piece of furniture with every other. When they left, you had to get someone to move them all back into place. Once they had paid and called it my flat, they were always asking for this or that additional furniture or privilege. There was the tenant who came singing up my long stair and handed me the rent with a pleasant smile. It was folded in a clean envelope so that the raw money was not handled between you. You felt him satisfied with his money's worth. Perhaps he did change his furniture about just a little but only enough to make it home him. Every hen likes to scrape the straw around her nest, making it different from every other hen's. There was the pompous person who came holding a roll of bills patronizingly as if he were handing you a tip. There was the stingy one parting hardly with his cash, fishing the hot tarnished silver and dirty bills from the depth of a depths of a trouser pocket and counting them lingeringly, grudgingly into your palm. There was the rent dodger who always forgot rent date. There was every kind of payer, but most renters seemed to regard rent as an unfairness. Was not the earth the Lord's? Hmm. Just so, but who pays the taxes?